Welcome to Insight for October 1st. I'm Will Hale. And I'm Rebecca Illig. So, Rebecca, did you have a good weekend? I did. I stayed in my room and studied most of the time, though. That's cool. <laughs> How about you? I went to Nashville. I saw the 310 to Yuma. It's oh, a very good movie. Yeah. yeah. I recommend sure. it. Um, hung out with my girlfriend. Uh, she's real, if you guys <laughs> Are you sure? question me. But, yeah. So, very good. What's, what's happening inside today? Well, we're going to hear about um, Wendy Brenner, and I'm going to talk about the Vol Aware program, and we have some information about the Brewers Fair and some sports. All right. Vol Aware is back on campus for its second annual two-day fair. Next Monday and Tuesday, anyone interested in mental health awareness, wellness, or suicide prevention will be able to attend the Vol Aware event at the University Center. The program is free, and visitors will have the opportunity to take mental health screenings, participate in a yoga class, view a rape aggression defense class, and much more. To view the rundown of the schedule of events for the Vol Aware program, follow the link on the side of this page. Don't forget to check out Vol Aware October 8th and 9th, which is Monday and Tuesday, which is next Monday and Tuesday at the University Center. That sounds cool, Rebecca. What else do they offer? Um, I heard they're also going to have some free massages, so you should definitely go check that out. Ooh, I love it when women rub me down. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're going to go to Malia with some more campus news. SAS and fiction writer Wendy Brenner spoke to journalism students about the editor-writer relationship Monday afternoon. The session included an informal question and answer session about the publishing industry and marketing. Creative writing teacher Michael Knight says the experience was a positive one. We bring in six or eight writers every year. Um, I mean, I think it's good for students to get to see an actual working writer. Um, when I was coming along taking creative writing workshops, Writers seemed to me like, you know, these strange magicians who lived in caves, not like actual people. So it was great for me to meet real writers. And Wendy Brenner's as good a short story writer as there is practicing today. Um, but the event this evening and this afternoon wasn't just about Wendy. We wanted to bring in a working writer and her editor to talk about the nature of the writer-editor relationship and give the students a sense of a sort of a better sense of the professional side of the business rather than just talking about craft and workshops. Brenner read selections from her recent fiction work in the library later that evening. Reporting for Insight, this is Malia Kim. Speaking of campus news, uh, it's getting pretty cool here lately. Yeah, I definitely needed a jacket this morning that I didn't have. Well, good thing, because up next we have a report on keeping warm. This winter, I heard it's going to get really, really cold. I'm talking freezing. So, I've compiled a list of three things to help you out this winter. First off, wear a blanket wherever you go. What's up guys? Morning. Who drank all my milk? Second, run. Third, snuggle with your roommates. <laughs> but seriously, if you don't have heat, you better get it. So, this has been Will Hale with Useful Information. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Will. That information will definitely be helpful when we're walking around campus this winter. Yeah, I was a little cold this morning. That's yeah. why I got this sweater on. <laughs> Up next, we have Cliff with sports. Even though there was no UT football game this weekend, it was still a big weekend here on UT campus and around the nation as there was tons of good stuff going on. The Lady Vols soccer team stole the spotlight on the bye week for the football team, picking up a pair of victories over ranked opponents. Starting it off Thursday night against South Carolina, Kylie Rossi scored an overtime to win that game 3-2. to two. Sunday against Florida, Kylie Rossi another pair of goals against, Florida, against the Gators to win that game 2 to nothing and to be named our Lady Vol Athlete of the Week. So you can check out the sports site to find that article later on this week. Volleyball team also in action struggled a little bit more than the soccer team, though. Around the nation, a big weekend in college football as five of our top ten teams in the, college, in the TNJ and top 25 fell. You can check out what that did to our rankings on the site right now, as well as see what we think is going to happen in the baseball playoffs, which I don't even want to pick anymore. And since my Mets completely fell apart, biggest collapse in the history, of Major League Baseball. You can also check out the site for preview of the upcoming Georgia game. Big game for the Vols. Couldn't make or break the season. I'm Cliff Chartrand. This has been your sports update. Now back to Rebecca and Will to wrap things up. Thanks, Cliff. Uh, we're all rooting for those Vols this next uh, 
Saturday. Definitely. So. Yeah. On the Saturday during fall break, if you're looking for a good time, check out Brewer's Jam at World's Fair Park. 41 different beers will be on tap. Local music from folk to funk and restaurants will be serving many delectable delights. The festival will be from 1 to 7. And in the past, there have been over 5,000 people in attendance. So if you want to get your drink on, come check it out. That's it for Insight. We'll see you guys next time. Stay classy, Knoxville.